Hey guys, welcome. Today, we're in Seam Reap. And I'm taking you on a journey with me to one of the most stunning architectural marvels of Southeast Asia, Angkor Wat. I've been planning this trip for months, and I can't wait to share my experience with you all. Here we are, I just bought my ticket. Here goes my tour guide, slash driver. His name is Bob. He didn't really look like a Bob, but I didn't ask any questions. Angkor Wat is located in the northern part of Cambodia and is one of the most significant and largest religious monuments in the world. It was built in the 12th century by the Khmer Empire as a Hindu temple dedicated to Lord Vishnu. But it was later transformed into a Buddhist temple in the 16th century. As we enter the temple grounds, the first thing that strikes us is the massive size and intricate details of the temple's architecture. The temple's most iconic structure is the central tower, which stands 213 feet tall and symbolizes Mount Meru the abode of the Hindu gods. Climbing up the steep and narrow stairs to reach the top is a daunting task, but the view from the top is breathtaking. The temple complex is spread over 400 acres. It consists of several buildings, including the main temple. And the intricate carvings on the walls depict scenes from Hindu mythology and the lives of ancient Khmer kings and queens. There are four outer temples and various galleries, halls, and libraries. Exploring the temple grounds can take a whole day and it's impossible to see everything in one visit. Angkor Wat was built during the reign of King Suryavarman II in the early 12th century. It took over 30 years to construct and was meant to serve as a state temple in the center of the Khmer Empire. The temple was dedicated to the Hindu god Vishnu and was designed to represent Mount Meru the mythical home of the gods. After the death of King Suryavarman, the temple complex was converted to a Buddhist temple by King Jayavarman VII in the late 12th century. The new king made several additions to the complex, including a new wall around the temple, as well as several new structures, such as the Bayon Temple and Terrace of the Elephants. The temple complex remained an important religious site until the 15th century, when the Khmer Empire began to decline due to political instability and territorial disputes. The temple was abandoned and fell into disrepair until the 20th century when restoration efforts began. In 1992, Angkor Wat was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site and restoration efforts have continued ever since. The temple complex is now one of the most popular tourist attractions in Southeast Asia, drawing millions of visitors each year.
Visiting Angkor Wat is truly a trip of a lifetime. The temple complex is a magnificence, intricate details, and rich history make it a must-visit destination for all architecture and history enthusiasts. I hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of Angkor Wat and added it to your bucket list of places to visit. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more exciting travel videos.